Good morning, Eat Move Resters. We're just hanging out. This morning, me and my little Cucho, our little foster pup, and Bo, he's wearing the cone of shame. It's a beautiful summertime. I'm going to be eating fruit. A lot of people wanna see how I eat raw. Today will be pretty high raw. Let's get into it. Finally out the door this morning, always later than I'd hoped. Don't mind our messy garage, but yes, that is a drum set and a keyboard because Aaron and I have rock and roll dreams that we don't want to let die. Embarrassing. And this is the bug, of course. Aaron's been yelling at me because the brakes went out on a photo shoot with that thing the other day and I haven't had it fixed yet. So I'm gonna go to the gym. I've been liking morning workouts lately. People in the gym are happy and it's just a good environment, a good way for me to start my day. Finally done at the gym. Still got some smoothie left over here. It was a good workout, but I always take way too long. So, time to go get some work done. Pulling up to the chiropractor. Some of you know, but most of you don't. I was born with cerebral palsy, which I'm ridiculously lucky. It's only affected my left leg. When I was a kid, I had to do physical therapy. It's just a very minor scoliosis in my back, but it's never really bothered me. But I figured, you know, I might as well start going now and maybe prevent some, some uh, mishaps in the future. So I'll give you guys a look. Made it to the boathouse. This is my all fruit lunch. So I've got a handful of strawberries. I've got a large peach, a large apple, four bananas, some hemp seeds, some chia seeds. Man, I cannot wait. So let's count it up. That's probably seven or 800 calories, believe it or not. And I'm gonna gobble that thing down. I always bring with me nuts. Pistachios are my favorite. Oh, it is so beautiful out here. I really take this place for granted. We talk so much about moving and like getting away from here, getting out of Nebraska, and it would be hard when it comes down to it. I can't believe I get to work out here every day. It's, it's amazing. So I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. I'm gonna eat my lunch outside while I can. I thought I would talk, do a little ditty on supplements since this is a somewhat supplement focused video. People ask all the time, and I think that we all secretly know like what we need to be taking Number one, vitamin D. Even the people that eat meat, that drink their cow's milk and eat their meat are still uh, deficient in vitamin D. Even the people that are out in the sun all day, like myself, I'm usually outside. That's the big one, vitamin D for everybody. I don't care if you're young, old, vegan or not vegan, take your vitamin D. Number two, vitamin B12. If you're vegan or not, 
you still, chances are you could be, might be, probably are deficient in vitamin D12, B12 if you're not supplementing. The third one was algae omega, your omega-3s, EPA, DHA. Now the truth is, when you type it into the apps like Chronometer that I know we've talked about before, it'll show you that you're getting enough if you're eating your flax seeds, your walnuts, hemp, chia, all of those things have those healthy omegas. But I honestly feel like I feel better when I take my algae omega. I feel clearer, I feel happier, I just, I just feel better, it's weird. And I don't like that because I want to feel like I'm getting it from my food. But again, sometimes supplementing is, is required. You know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. You know, there's a lot of people out there that talk about how supplementing is bad and you should be off of the, all the supplements and just all natural and get everything from your food. I agree, that would be awesome. But let's face it, in the world we, in which we live, the current state, we should be supplementing because we're just not getting the things from the soil, the plants, and even the sun. So don't be afraid of supplementing. The fourth one I mentioned was kind of a new one for us, and that's a magnesium supplement. So the other night I woke up in a panic. I just couldn't sleep for whatever reason. And it freaked me out, and I get that way once in a while. I'll lose a night of sleep, and then I'm scared to go to bed the next night. Do you guys ever get that? You're like, already nervous that you're not gonna sleep again. Anyway, Aaron went to our one of our favorite local grocers here, like all organic, Whole Foods, like our, our hippie grocery store that we love, and she bought me that, that Calm, that magnesium supplement. And I started putting that in my tea for a couple nights, and then I just did some water, and I've done it now for a couple weeks, and I've noticed my recovery actually has been faster. It's, it's good for your muscles, it's good for your brain, it's a muscle relaxer. It can help with constipation. So if you take a higher dose, that can actually get things flowing in the morning. And I think it works. I think it's awesome. Guess what time it is? Well, it's after four, so let's go get some cooked food, huh? Well, it's not even cooked. Canned black beans to break my raw till four fast. Probably 200 calories in these black beans and probably at least 15 grams of protein are off for the day headed out oh just about forgot my water okay just got home to my Hi. beautiful pregnant bride you guys want to see a, a little image of baby s so this be prepared for cuteness this was yesterday look at that cute baby face we made that, that little nose it's so cute it's very cute he looks like a little hoonville so Aaron is halfway, over halfway now, actually. And I don't know, if you ask me, it seems like it's going pretty fast. So we'll have a babe in arm pretty soon. Still doing a what I eat in a day. Might do a little vegetable fried quinoa. And we'll show you the process. You can add soy sauce, nama shoyu, coconut aminos. For a big batch, I would recommend adding this Bragg's liquid aminos.
No day is complete without a little dark chocolate. Rest is so underappreciated. <sighs> but it's all so good. And we all love it. Get your rest. Thank you.